everyone. Welcome to Desert Isle Crafting. I'm Christy. Hello. How are you today? I hope everyone is doing great. I have been out of state um, for some family things, so I have not been able to post any videos this week until now. I will have two videos posted today, and I'm going to try to do a couple a day until I get caught up. Everything went well, but the traffic drove us absolutely crazy. Uh, a trip that normally would take us five hours to San Diego took seven and a half. We sat in traffic for 150 miles, and there wasn't even an accident. It was just all cars. So I'm not looking forward to going back there anytime soon, or even planning on it for that matter. Um, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. Animals are good. My husband's back at work, and I'm back doing what I love. So I hope um, you all are doing great and that you're crafting some beautiful things. Now what I have for you today is um, some kits from Fan Cells. They were kind enough to send me these to, these to me for review. And they are some different styles of cross stitch that I have not seen or gotten before. So I hope you like them because I think they're, they're so pretty and I'm really curious to see how they turn out. But before we start, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe if you haven't. A massive hello to all my new subscribers and all my subscribers. Thank you so much for watching my videos and taking the time out of your day to do that. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. And I also have a new craft kit that's come in. A new subscription box, I would say monthly craft kit from Annie's Craft Clubs. I will do a video on that tomorrow. So these are going to be different every single month. You know, chances are real high. They're not going to be cross stitch. They're not going to be diamond painting. They're going to be a different kind of craft. And I think that's good for this channel is to show different kinds of crafts um, besides, you know, the couple that we're used to all the time. So I hope you look forward to that. And that's why you should hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Okay, so let's get going on this one from Fan Cells. Let me open it up. I don't, I don't want to cut anything. And if there's a possibility that I could cut something, I will. Because that's just me. Okay. So let's look at this first one. In fact, I'll take them all out so we don't have so much noise. Okay, now I am not seeing what this is. So please excuse the, the crunchy. I have to get this out of the bag so we can see what we're talking about. Looks like it's pretty good size. Okay. So let's see, do they give us a better picture? This is a dragonfly. Now, that is not the greatest picture in the world for this. I'm really surprised they didn't give us a little picture of it. So I will find this online and I will post a picture down in the corner over here so you can see better what this looks like. I love dragonflies. We get a lot of them in the summer and they just like come and sit right next to us and stare at us and they're beautiful. So I saw this kit and I thought, now that is gorgeous. Is it gonna focus a little better? Very colorful. The pattern right off the bat, you can see this is big. Thank goodness they're making these patterns so huge. 40 colors for this dragonfly. And this background here is all 5,200 white. So I mean, if you don't wanna do it, because that's a lot of stitching. This, this picture is big. It's a whole lot of background. And being that once you rinse all the ink off your actual pattern, it's gonna be a white background anyway, like this, like this. So it's your choice. Another option would be to stitch the background in just a half stitch instead of a full cross. That could make it really pretty too. So in looking at the pattern, we've got a massive one. Is very, very clearly printed. I'm really happy that it is a big one. So if you do have any problems with your canvas, 
you can always refer back over to this. It's got the grid lines, so it makes things easy to find. This is an 11 count. It gives you the item number up here, which is super important in case you need to get in touch with fan cells and ha uh, have any questions, run out of thread. Uh, always good to keep that number for referral. And the size, which is 44 by 60 centimeters. We will measure that out in inches. Okay, so this is just an awesome, great pattern. I'm wondering if it's as big as the actual picture. You also get a little print out of instructions in case you've never cross-stitched before. Or if you're unclear about how to get the ink off your canvas, it explains how to do this. I've done it. It works really well. You're not going to have any problem with that. It's very, very bent up. Okay. Then they give us a little toolkit in a nice reclosable bag. I save these because, quite honestly, they're great just to store. You can have one that just stores all your threaders, another one that stores your needles, another one that stores your thimbles, or you could just use these for diamond painting drills. That's a good little bag there. So we have our little adjustable thimble. They've given us a whole bunch of needles here. I think five needles. And then the threader. Love those threaders. They work really, really well as long as they don't have a snaggy, snaggy part on them. Okay, let's look at this canvas. Now this is a beautifully marked canvas. First thing I look at is the printing. Are the symbols in their squares or do they bleed over into another square? I've actually thrown cross stitches away because the bleed over into another square was so bad that it was just, it just was too frustrating to do. But this is gorgeous and it's big. Let's see, maybe I'll go up a little higher so you can see it better. This is beautiful. There is a lot of confetti because there's a lot of detail. But I mean, there are some steps, some sections where you've got some color blocking over here. And then it goes all the way down. Yeah, this is just so, so pretty. I'm going to turn it sideways just so I can measure it with a tape measure to see what it is in inches, the actual picture. Now, I will have a link for fan sales below. In case you're interested in this picture or any of the ones I show you today, I will also link their product links. So this is about 21 and a half inches tall by 15 inches long. So I mean, it's really good size. It's almost two feet tall. And like I said, you can either not do this white ground, white background, or just do it in half stitches. Um, that would save you a whole lot of time, but I think she's just going to be beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I will have the prices down below also in the links. Let's look at the floss real quick, see what kind of colors we're talking about. Excuse me for the noise. Okay, so as you can see for the background, they give you a whole lot of white. A whole lot of white floss for that background. Oh, there's two more. You know, you, when, if you do it in half stitches or don't do it, then you've got a whole a lot of extra white floss for another project. Or if kids want to make friendship bracelets, that's always good too. Okay, the colors on this are so pretty. I mean, there's turquoises and greens and so many different shades of purple and blue and pink that... I think this, this dragonfly will be stunning. It's nice soft cotton floss. I mean, there's teals and reds, fuchsias and pinks, and like a coral orange, light coral orange. Really, really pretty colors here. And they sure give you a lot of it. Now they didn't write the product number on these cards. I recommend you do so this number up here at the top so that in case these two ever get separated then you can match them up and you know that the this floss goes with this picture so let me get that wrapped up real quick 
Oh, I think this is beautiful. Just beautiful. What a nice kit. You know, this is a generic brand kit, and I've really, really seen a big improvement in them in the last few months. Their patterns are bigger. Oh, you know what I was going to check really quick before I, I stop that? Because this pattern is so big, it has me curious if it is as big as the actual picture. So let's put that out there like that and open up the pattern. Now, it's not quite as big. It's not quite as big, but it's pretty close. So thank you very much to them for printing these bigger now because it really does make a difference, I think. Okay. Now, these kits I saw, and I absolutely love them. They have probably 20 different ones to choose from. They're not expensive. They're like $3.99. And here's the first one. It's called Dandelions. And it is got the Joy Sunday logo up here. I'm just going to call them Joy Sunday because of that logo. It's in the same kind of packaging with the same kind of patterns. This is called Dandelion Round. It's a 14 count. You'll use two strands, 23 by 23 centimeters. All the wonderful instructions on the back on how to stitch your project. Let's see what's inside and what this looks like. Okay, so there it is without the glare. I like the fact, what, it, what attracted me to these was they've got these little white, section, white sections. Now, I don't know if we stitch there, but we'll find out. 20 colors, French knot, one color in black, and two back stitch colors. Probably use a seed bead instead of a French knot because French knots kind of annoy me. In looking at the pattern, you can see what I thought. And you've got these areas here. Let's see, where's 5200 is K. So you've got these areas here where you're not going to stitch anything. Now, isn't that interesting? So you've got that over here. You've got it around the flower. You've got little sections of white. You do. You will have a black uh, border along here. I just found that really, really interesting. Now, in looking at the actual pattern, it is not big. This is a beautiful little um, cross-stitch kit that will measure it four inches. That's got your legend along the bottom and for your French knot and for your back stitching. You can see right here, this is where you won't do any stitching at all. You could do the whole collection and have them all framed up and that would look beautiful on a wall. So it's about mm, not quite seven and a half inches by a little over seven inches there. So, I mean, they're pretty much square. This is a nice change from a big picture, a big pattern. You can see it is printed really clearly. I think dandelions are beautiful. I think this will be easy to do. Yes, it's got color blocking. It's got confetti, but it's not crazy confetti. I think this is going to be so pretty. Now let's look at the colors. They give you two needles. I like these floss organizer cards because it has your product number on it. it. Tells you that it's 14 count, two strand, and then it gives you all your colors with DMC codes and it tells you how many how much of that color it's they gave you. Now, don't these colors look like spring? We have a lot of yellows, a lot of greens. Got a little black and white. But other than that, these are just such great spring colors. I just think these are beautiful. I saw this. I just loved it. Absolutely loved it. And then I got some more. I mean, for $3.99. This is called Lily. Lily Round. Let's check this one out. It's 25 by 26. It's also a 14 count. 
So here it is without glare. Isn't that beautiful? There's so many of these to choose from. So many to choose from. Here's the pattern. This one has 26 colors with two backstitch colors. They give you the picture. And then here you go with the lilies. It's got these areas around the petals where you won't be stitching at all. They're all over all the petals um, with a nice black border around it. I think these are beautiful. Let's look at the canvas. Now, of course, this ink is not going to match your floss for contrast reasons, but you've got your legend all the way around. These little kits are great if you're traveling, or let's say you've got to pick kids up from school and you're sitting around waiting in the car. They're small. They don't take up a lot of room. You're not having to haul a whole lot with you to do it. I mean, that's what's great about these bags is that they're reclosable. So just put everything in here and just grab it and go. Only thing you really need are some scissors because they give you everything else. But isn't that pretty? Oh, maybe a threader. I couldn't survive without a threader. And these kits don't come with one. Let me just double check the measurements on this one. Okay, so this is a little bit bigger. This is almost eight inches by seven and a quarter. So it's a little bit longer uh, top to bottom than it is wide. The colors are beautiful. It's on that great floss card that gives you all the information on it, along with two needles. Are you going to focus? There we go. And these are all just pinks and purples. Oh, look how pretty that is. So, so pretty. These flowers are going to be stunning. I love lilies. I really love lilies. In fact, I can't even remember the lilies I like, but they're the ones, my favorite, you know, are the ones with the, the pink with the spots on them. I forget the name. Ask me in an hour. I'll probably remember the name, but not right now. So this is another great kit in this collection of flowers and then I actually have two more okay here are daffodil are they call these narcissus flowers but they're daffodils we know they're daffodils and this is also 14 count two strand 26 by 26 so just a little little bit bigger than the ones we were just looking at the lilies isn't that just so pretty. Such a pretty kit. Such a pretty picture. Now this one has a whole lot of backstitch to it. All these red lines are backstitch. But I think that just brings out the detail of the picture really well. And like I said, you can write on these. This is going to be fun. This is going to be a whole lot of fun. How pretty is that? And then, of course, it's got just the most perfect daffodil colors for floss. You know, it's on that, that floss card. It's not, it gives you the information you need here about the DMC codes and how much they give you. And then, because the, this one's just for black. But these are definitely daffodil colors. So many different shades of green, yellow, gold, orange. I mean, I can't even tell you how many different shades of green. There's probably 10, at least 10 different shades of green on here. Just beautiful, beautiful colors. I think um, it would be so fun to have the collection of all of these because there's just so many of them. So here is the canvas, 10, 101 stitches high by 110 stitches wide. All that white area in the middle here, you won't stitch. So it kind of, the white kind of outlines the flowers in addition to the back stitching around them. Then there's that space of white. And I just think that really makes it stand out. Really makes it stand out. That's just beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, now I have one more. 
This says gladiolus. How pretty is this one? It's got so many different colors in here. It's almost like a rainbow. This one is 23 by 28, 14 count. Let's get the pattern out. Okay. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. That's so pretty. So pretty. Okay, so here is the pattern. We have 27 colors, a French knot color, and backstitch color. 99 stitches wide by 114 stitches tall. Let's look at this side. So yes, of course, the lines, the black lines, and the white lines are going to be your backstitching. Very clearly printed. Easy to read. Oh, this is going to be just beautiful. Here's the bottom part of it. Oh, I just think that's stunning. Beautiful. Okay, let's check out the actual pattern. I'll do a measurement on it. So, Gladiolus. 27 colors. All right, let's take a closer look at it. You can see how well it's printed. All the colors are exactly where all the symbols are exactly where they're meant to be. And then it has the very faint gray. I don't know if you can see that. Gray lines everywhere that backstitching would occur, which is nice. They put it on there, but once you have this stitched up, before you do backstitching, I don't think you really see it then. But let's do a quick measurement on this. Okay, seven inches wide by about eight and a quarter inches tall. And let's look at the colors. Oh my goodness, it's like looking at a rainbow here. It's got the great floss card with the information on there that you need. Okay, but this is like a rainbow. These colors are just like a rainbow. The most beautiful purples. Yellows, pinks, greens, blues. Oh, here's a whole lot more. Is this just gorgeous? This is really going to pop, I think. Really, really, these colors are going to pop in this. And the price. I think they were $3.99. Fancells has so many things besides cross-stitch. They have diamond painting, they have paint by number, they have accessories. If you haven't been to Fancells, I love Fancells probably out of all these companies the best because their prices are lower. And you just need to do your shopping around. If you find something on it, let's say you find this on another site, before you buy it and you love it or find something you love on another site, go check Fancells first before you actually pay for it and see if Fancells have it. And chances are they're going to have it for a lower price. They have specials on shipping. I will put everything down below, all their information and what their current promotions are. Please check them all the time because those things are always changing. And to, please, if you've tried making one of these, if you've bought one of these these new style kits with, you know, the white separation between um, the flowers. Oh, gorgeous. If you've done one, let me know. I'd love to know if you've gotten one of these yet. And I will be doing some more of these too. I also think these would be fun to stick in a giveaway. And I owe you all a, a big giveaway. And I just have had so many things going on with life that I have not been able to do it. So I promise I will not continue to let you down. A, a big, massive giveaway is coming. Um, and these would be great things to put in there too, I think. So please let me know what you think. If you like these pictures, so I'm going to put them side by side so you can see because they're just so, so pretty and interesting. Let's see, I got one more. Yeah. And then we have the dandelions. So we have the gladiolus, the daffodils, the lilies, and the dandelions. Just absolutely love these. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. Please let me know down below in the comments uh, how you're doing and 
what's going on and um, I would love to know I love your comments so very much if you have any thoughts or ideas or questions please send me an email my email will be down below also and I thank you so much for watching I'll talk to you soon have a great day bye